The Biophysical Society plays a crucial role in bringing together scientists from all over the world and now taking a lead in how that all happens. It's the Biophysical Society President David Piston. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, what's big in biophysics this year and what do you expect will get most attention this year? Yeah, predicting what's going to get the most attention at the meeting is always hard. Um, there's so many diverse things that are happening. But some of the things that are exciting me uh, before seeing the presentations is a big focus on biophysics of health and breaking biophysics out of molecules and going into organisms, even into human bodies. There's stuff on cardiac, on heart uh, conditions, stuff on Alzheimer's and aging and the biophysics of the molecules that play a role in that. And this is, I think, emblematic of how biophysics has evolved over time from really something in a test tube to something that really is happening in affecting human health. And I think that's still the thing, the growth area. There's still a lot of new techniques being discovered all the time and developed and that the membership of the society is really the people that take the lead in that. And so I'm excited to see what the latest and greatest toys are on the exhibit floor, what the latest and greatest uh, new developments in instrumentation there are in the poster sessions and in the talks, and also how those are being applied then to uh, human health or plant science or the whole range of biology. And what's the last year been like for you? And uh, really, uh, what successes and challenges have you seen in your leadership role? Yeah, well, um, being the president of any organization is usually a be careful what you wish for uh, kind of proposition. Uh, over the last year, we've spent a lot of time trying to increase transparency of the organization. A lot of people who have been members for many years didn't know how certain parts of it worked. How does the program come together? How does council make decisions? So we've tried to really up the transparency, posting a lot of information about the council meetings, putting more timelines on everything, and that's been good. Uh, there's been obviously uh, across the world the Me Too movement, and that's affected STEM just as much as anywhere else, and we've been trying to confront that. Uh, we have a, a symposium at this meeting about that, which has developed over the last year, new code, code of conduct, new reporting software. Um, so those things have all sort of, everything takes a little bit more time than you think. I think they're all good ideas, and trying to get that all done has really been taking up my time. Well, okay, good to know. And where do you see biophysics making the biggest impact going forward? And what research areas can it really make breakthroughs in? Yeah, so I think that the, the one area where you can see breakthroughs coming right away is going to be sort of drug discovery, where the biophysics is defining how uh, drugs interact with the target molecules, how to find the target molecules, how those are distributed inside of the body. Um, certainly when you go outside of human health and you get to plant science, uh, any sort of things that are uh, genetically modified, how can you make those safer? How can you make them better? How can you make them faster? And the, the biophysics and the biophysical techniques are really affecting all of those things. I think that's still a big growth area. What we're trying to do at the meeting is capture the, the, the wealth of information that's coming in, feeding back into what new techniques do we need in order to solve those important problems. How are you working to ensure the society works for everyone? And, and why is that important? Yeah, well, um, certainly if we only have old white males like myself in the society, our membership will be declining. Uh, science is, is growing as fields, uh, diverse people come all over the world, as diversity across the world. The Biophysical Society, 30% of our members are, are international, not from the United States, and we want to grow that. We have a growing population of, of uh, female members as we went from 10% up to 35% and we would like to see that 50-50. Our students are 50-50. We have more students of color and we need to have uh, encourage them. If we do not encourage them to, to stay in the field and make these contributions, they're going to be lost forever. And we cannot rely on only part of the talent to solve the problems uh, that we have in this society whether it's the problems of population growth and how that's taxing the world. Biophysics can affect a lot of those things. But I don't know the ideas, but the young people do. And that is important to, to basically cast that net as wide as possible. Well, great. And as you work towards that, what is next for you? Well, uh, next for me is, of course, I have to be past president uh, for a year, and uh, that will involve nominating the next slate, uh, working on nominating the next slate of officers. And after that, I think I might take some time off and actually be able to see all the science that happens at the meeting rather than spend a lot of time uh, working in, uh, in uh, meeting rooms and in conferences. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. David Piston yeah. with the Biophysical Society. Thank you. Thank you.